What's up YouTube, Danny and welcome to potentially the last episode of this series, I think it is going to be because we are going to be doing the strikers in the best place to buy on FIFA 13 career mode and tell me if you've enjoyed the series and tell me if you want to see maybe an ultimate team version, so my favourite players on ultimate team. So our first player is going to be our striker or our first striker is going to be, it's going to be Yassin Benzia, you might see him in a lot of career modes, he's 66 rated, 17 years old, he gets to a potential for the, around the mid 80s, so fantastic player there. I'd really recommend him for maybe a three-star team, you could say. So our next player is going to be, I don't know how to say his first name, but Malapa, you might know, know him as. A fantastic silver on Ulmer team. I've made a squad builder around him. But look at his stats on Kuruma. Fantastic strength and the same story with Miyuka. Both similar players, both really strong uh, and they got good pace as well. So good there. Emmanuel, Emmanuel and Miyuka, fantastic player. They're just a bit fun to play with. Obviously, really good pace. So moving on to our next player is going to be Destro from AS Roma, 76 rated, 21 years old. He'll get to around 85, 86 and he's a fantastic player, quite tall as well so he's quite good in the air. So our next player is going to be Christian Benteke, 77 rated, 21 years old. And if you have a look at his stats, one that, the only downside to him that is he's only just joined Aston Villa so you're going to have to wait another season if you're starting in the year 2013. So. Our next player is going to be Lorenzo Insignia. He'll basically join any team. He's quite cheap. And as I said, Cavani's the first choice striker. So he's going to be quite easy to get. He's got great stats. He's got really good all-round stats. The only bad thing is his strength. 34 strength and 55 jumping. So our next player is going to be Romelu Lukaku. 77 rated, 19 years old. Again, similar to Benteke. Maybe you want to see a career mode when I, buy, when I buy both of them or put them into one team. Lukaku and Benteke. Imagine them in real life together. Again, he's on loan at West Brom and on loan from Chelsea, so you're going to have to wait one season, at least one season to get him, and by then he's going to be quite expensive. I would have guessed around about the 12 to 15 million mark, considering his potential is around 88 or something like that. So our next player is going to be Rodrigo, and he's quite similar to Adrian, both non-rare on Ultimate Team. But let's not talk about Ultimate Team, let's talk about career mode. So they've got great stats, great pace, and they're both around 20 to 25 years old. And Adrian specifically, he's got fantastic stats, 89 acceleration, and he's got an amazing finish on him. But Rodrigo's left foot, he's on a different planet, a fantastic left foot. And I've never actually got him up to around the mid-80s, 85 8 to 90. But I'm guessing his left foot is just lethal by then. So our next player is going to be moving on to around the 10 million mark now. We've got Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, or Aubameyang as you might say, 80 rated, 23 years old. Fantastic stats around, striker, 23 years old as I said. He'll get to around the 88 mark as well. So our next player is going to be Lucina Traore. I think his potential is around 85 if I read to right. But the great thing about him is that he's quick. He's got 94 strength. He's got great finishing. And then have, if you have a look at his age, 21 years old. And he is 6 for 8. So in height he's 6 for 8 and 192 pounds. A fantastic player there. Just a bit of a laugh to play with. Imagine him and Miyuka up front together. So our next player is going to be Xavier Hernandez. You might know him. Obviously you will know him in real life. But on FIFA, not really anyone seems to buy him because obviously you might know on FIFA when you play Man United, they do normally play Rooney or Welbeck or Van Persie. You never see Hernandez much. That's maybe just for me, but he is quite easy to buy. You normally see him going to someone like Inter Milan or something like that, but he's quite easy to buy. You can get him for around 15 million. And his potential is around 85, so he's quite similar to Lorenzo Insignia. So moving on to the more expensive players now, moving on from 13 million to 18 million. And we've got Zlatan Ibrahimovic, 89 rated and 30 years old. Again, just a, bit of a, just a bit of fun to play with. He'll be around the 86 marker by the end of maybe the, the 2013 season. But the great thing about him is that the five-star skills will never go away. So fantastic player there. And he's obviously really tall and really strong and got decent pace in my opinion. So moving on to our next player now, we've got Alexandra Pato, 18 and a half million. I've just really always been debating whether I should get him in any career mode. And the same story with Lewandowski. I don't know what it is. I just don't really enjoy using Lewandowski. All the stats look good, but when he's in game, he always seems to be out of position. So that's just someone that's been uh, recognised or someone that's told me about him. So our next player is going to be Sergio Aguero, 87 rated, 24 years old. If you cast your memories back to my first ever video, which was my Bayern Munich Super League, he was the signing I made and he's been fantastic in that career mode. But the only thing I would say is that that made that career mode quite easy because obviously he is way better on... On, normal to, on career mode, sorry. So, fantastic pace. Same story with Cavani, using him currently in my Liverpool career mode. 87 rated, 25 years old, 80 acceleration and fantastic stats all round. So, we've got Neymar here, 20 and a half million. Might think of getting him in, hopefully, potentially, maybe my Monaco career mode 
or my Porto career man, you can still vote for that in the comment section below. So, obviously, fantastic stats. Obviously, you've got that five-star skill moves and his potential. Just wait for this. 91, so that's crazy. And only 20 and a half million. And as you're going to see, the next couple of players are going to be moving on to around the 30 million mark. So, our next player is going to be Mario Balotelli, 83 rated, 21 years old. Again, he'll get to around 88, 89, so a really good player there. And if you have a look at some of his stats, all really good physical stats. A couple of bad ones, but mostly good. So, our next player is going to be Jovetic, again, a really balanced player. He's got decent pace, a lot of you have said to game. He's quite likeable if you think about it. He's got really good stats. I think he's got four star skill moves, if I'm not right, or you can correct me in the comp section. And moving on to the more expensive players now, 13.5 million for. Falcao did think of getting him in my Liverpool career. I'm 90 rated. He'll get to around 91, 92. And look at those stats. Just crazy good. But best is his 94 finishing and his 95 head accuracy. So fantastic player there. So this is what I was talking about with Neymar because Gareth Bale was 33 million. I would, uh, personally would go for Neymar. Obviously two years younger, but uh, he's not as good rated. I think it's 83 and 86 is the difference. But in my opinion, I think I'll go for Neymar just because it's 15 million difference. And if you're just really rich, if you're using Manchester City or financial takeover, you can just go for Lionel Messi. No really introduction to say about him. Got fantastic stats all around. But as I said earlier in the episode, this is probably going to be the last episode because obviously I've done the goalkeepers, the, the defenders, the midfielders and now the strikers. So if you've enjoyed the series, which you you clearly do, it's getting lots of views this series. Tell me if you want to see a ultimate uh, ultimate team series, so the best players to buy, the best non-rare players, the best defenders, attackers, that kind of thing. And if you want to see that, please tell me in the comment section below. So that's your what you have to do. Just tell me in the comment section below if you want to see that. Just going to leave you with Messi, the best player on the game, 94 rated, 25 years old. But if you've enjoyed, please leave a like rating and subscribe. If you haven't already, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in, hopefully, a potential Ultimate Team series of this version. So, again, tell me if you enjoyed the series, and I'll see you in my next video.